Good evening, I'm Meg Gatto. And I'm Lauren McCoy. Louisiana State Police have arrested the man they say hit and killed a DOTD worker today on I-610. Ashlyn Brothers joins us now with details of the crash. Megan Lauren, Louisiana State Police say 23 year old Eric Anthony Jr. was on the side of the road helping a driver in need. And that's when officers say 26 year old Oscar Perez Moran of Araby left the roadway and hit Anthony as Anthony was getting tools from the back of his vehicle. DOTD officials say Anthony was new to the job. He had only started in July. We had a tragedy and it's it's felt by everyone. State troopers are investigating what led to a fatal crash, claiming the life of a man trying to do his job. The citizens of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana have, have lost somebody special. We have no idea how many people that Eric may have affected uh, with this job, with his life, and now it's been cut short. The driver of a disabled truck told Fox 8 a DOTD employee later identified as 23-year-old Eric Anthony Jr., pulled over on the side of I-610 West to assist him when another driver struck Anthony, killing him. He's one of our own. He leaves a mother, a father, a six-year-old son, and a grieving family. I would ask that everybody uh, keep them in their, your, their thoughts and their prayers. One of our photographers witnessed at least one Good Samaritan attempt to perform life-saving measures until EMS arrived on scene to take over. The crash happened just before 2 Tuesday afternoon near Canal Boulevard in Gentilly. In a statement, Secretary for the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development Joe Donahue told us everyone at DOTD is deeply saddened by the fatality of a motorist assistance patrol employee. He went on to say this job is inherently dangerous and the brave people doing these jobs risk their lives every day in order to make drivers safer, adding safety is and will always be our number one priority. They are trained to expect the unexpected, uh, but unfortunately we can't control what other people do. We have a lot of close calls day in and day out. It is the law that they're supposed to slow down and move over. They are supposed to yield to emergency vehicles but it's also a common courtesy that they're trying to get to someone to help them. The fatal crash led to partial closures and caused traffic to crawl for a couple hours while crews worked to clear the scene. State troopers say Anthony was operating a marked vehicle and had his emergency lights on a lit up signboard and traffic cones placed in the road behind his vehicle. They say Perez Moran was hurt in the crash, but his injuries were minor.